Okay, I'm out here on the Hamahama River this morning. It just got daylight not too long ago. This is the first area that I looked at. And this is the river. Flowing pretty good there though. It's been raining for the last couple days. And I'm sure up there in the mountains it's been raining a lot. Right. It's a beautiful stream. I saw some gravel bars down below, so I think I'm going to go downstream a bit. I didn't see anything in here too much that interests me. But the forest, it is dark. Well, I'm going to go on downstream, see if I can get on the river and find something. Yeah, I got down here on the river on a nice gravel bar. I've walked it just a little bit here. All I'm really finding is a lot of the oceanic basalts. A lot of stuff with quartz in it, but I did find this right here. And that's some of that green in quartz that I find like on the Tahuya River. Most of the Olympics around here has it. I'm going to probably keep this piece and cut it. See what I get. I think I see another piece right here. Yeah. I think I'll leave that piece. I'll keep this one. But I've noticed that a lot of this, you'll see this rock that's got the quartz stringers running through it. There's quite a bit of that. And then you have this rock here, like you find a lot of this on the Tahuya River also. Which is just across the Hood Canal, so it's easy enough during the Ice Age for this stuff to get pushed over that way. There's some real tortured rock in here, and I may find something of interest. Um, I'm going to continue on up through there. Nice little stream. Not a bad day since it's been raining. Usually, you go up here, it's just pouring rain, but this is nice. So, oh, who this. Yeah, I'm going to have to get my rock pick out for that one. Yeah, I'll dig it out. Yeah, I got it out of there. All it is is just a slight little face of quartz in there. And this here is just the matrix around there. So I'm going to leave that. That's all. This over here. Pretty much like quartz. And he got twisted up in some of the host rock there. Now I'm going to continue on. I hope to find something a little better that I can take home with me. that piece also. Well, hopefully I do better up through here. Yeah, I came across this hunk of green jasper here. That's a pretty big piece. And I think I'll leave it just because it's big. If it had good deep green color I would take it. But I'll leave that. And I was looking at this here. Somebody used it for their fire pit. And 
It almost has like a magenta color to it. Yes. That is a jasper. Well, it's dark though. I've never seen one quite with those colors in it. But, yeah. That's a big piece. A couple big pieces here. I think other people have been on here. I've seen holes back there, which is understandable. There's a campground up here. And uh, so I'm sure there's been a rock hound or two in here. Well, yeah, I got a bunch more to look at. That's promising when I see pieces like that, that uh, there could be something in here that somebody's missed, and hopefully I find. I walked a little bit up this gravel bar, and I see this red jasper right on top of the thing here. I'll take a look at it. Oh, what's that? In there. Oh, that's got some, yeah, that's got some good color in it. Yeah. I think I'll take that one. This one in looks like it might cut nice. Well, not too, not everybody's been up here because this one here, laying right on top, and he'd qualify just as a pretty rock for somebody to take home with them. The next year, I'm gonna go up there and to deep into the canyon. I'm sure there's some really good stuff up in there. Get where most people don't go. And, uh, I'm going to put this one in my bag and keep searching. Well, I came down below the campground here and I haven't really found much. There's been a lot of people on the river this year. And this is the end down in here. I'd love to be over on that, that pile over there. Because that's what I found out earlier this year. If I got on the other side of the river from the campground, I did pretty good. But, uh, and you go down that canyon in there. I've been down in that canyon before. And there is some really good stuff there, too. But I think I'm going to call it a day today. It's been great. Didn't find a whole lot, but I found some stuff. So I didn't go home empty-handed. And it's starting to clear up up in here. It's kind of nice. This is middle of November, and it's not all covered in snow up here. It's actually fairly warm. A bit of rain, but that's Washington. Well, I guess this is the scene I'll leave with. Well, I got back from my trip up there. I went up the Hamahama River, and then I went on over to the Skokomish River. While I was on the Hamahama, I picked up these pieces right here. This is a piece of quartz. Got a lot of green in there. And I think I should be able to get some good slabs out of this. This was a smaller piece I picked up. I like the, the design there, so hopefully that'll turn out nice. And this one here, I was on my way back to the vehicle, I picked it up. Um, I think uh, this might be interesting when I cut it. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I don't have my saw here. It's over at the, well, on the job site, so I'm not able to cut these right now. And I picked this piece up too. It was just interesting. I never quite seen something like this. I thought those might be garnets, but they're not. I don't think they are. If they are, they've been really worn down. But I'll have to see what that really is. Not real sure. That was an interesting piece. It'll make a good garden rock, if nothing else. Got lots of those. And then, after being up on the Hama Hama, I decided I would go over to the Skokomish. And usually there I find some good uh, jasper, but this time I only found one piece. 
it had been the river's been worked pretty good I mean this is November a lot of people been on it but this one here I think there'll be some good color in this especially on this back side here looks like it'll be really good in there that'll be interesting there's quite a bit there to cut up but that was my day up there it was nice to be up there I mean here it is middle of November and usually at that elevation yeah you're not getting on those streams but I'm gonna this weather holds I'm gonna get out as much as I can well I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching